In this video, I'm going to show you how to boost your energy without the crash, support your adrenals and all your other key organs and systems, as well as help boosting your immunity while drinking and enjoying your coffee. This is the idea of adding in adaptogens, herbs, and mushrooms to your coffee. Herbs, mushrooms, what? This guy with long hair, he's crazy. No, it's all good. These are not the herbs or the mushrooms that will make you hallucinate. What I'm talking about are medicinal mushrooms, things like reishi mushroom, chaga mushroom, cordyceps. There's a whole bunch that are now at the forefront of scientific research studying how people, cultures throughout the world have used medicinal mushrooms to help boost their immune system, support key vital organs, body processes, as well as, I mentioned that word, adaptogens. This is a special class of herb which helps your body literally adapt. Breaking that down further, some herbs have what's called one directional activity. So let's say you've got low blood pressure a one directional herb, a medicinal herb, would help increase your blood pressure because that is what the, is required. You're working with a qualified medical practitioner, herbalist, whatever it is, they've identified that's an issue that you have and you can use a herb to move it that direction. Other herbs might help bring it down. So depending on what you need, different herbs are used for different purposes, for different systems. Now an adaptogen is what we call dual directional. So it can help bring a system down or bring it up, like your immune system. Some people actually have very low immune systems. We need to boost it up. We need to ramp it up and get it more effective, especially during cold and flu season. There are a lot of herbs out there that can help you do that. Now, but what happens if you have an overactive immune system, right? You don't want to stimulate it even more these adaptogens, these dual directional herbs, in this case would help bring it down. So there's chemicals, there's intelligence in there for both to happen depending on your need. And that's one of the key things about adaptogens is they can help your body adapt, specifically to stress. You and I, I mean, you have busy, stressful days. I mean, living in this modern world, we're always getting that. And that's one of the reasons why we reach for coffee, isn't it? We're getting tired. We need that little bit of a pick-me-up. However, if you can add medicinal mushrooms and or adaptogens to your daily coffee, here you're going to get that support. I'm really inspired about herbal medicine. Not because I'm a herbalist, I don't consult with people, I don't give diagnoses, that's not the role, that's not the game here. It's about bringing herbs back into our life because they've always been a part of our life as humans. It's the folk medicine, the people's medicine, and it we are seeing through science, through research, all these benefits. Science is just coming to the forefront of being able to discover, you know, what are these herbs and how do they affect us? How do they benefit us? Turmeric as a, as a great example. And and hey, let's even call it out. Coffee is a herb, right? A herb would be defined as a plant that has a physiological effect. Coffee, absolutely. And one of the actual great things about coffee is it can be used as a wonderful delivery system for herbs. So let's combine those two together. Let's get you those benefits to get you through your day, but in a better, more optimal way without that crash. Why not? give yourself that deeper benefit in your daily cup. Because hey, I know, coffee drinkers, it's the one thing that you're gonna do. There's a saying in herbalism that it's all about compliance. If you don't take the herbs, they don't work, right? But by taking them, getting them in in the right amount, the right dosage, and frequently that's how you get the benefits. And I can tell you, a lot of people will struggle to, ah, did I take my turmeric today? Did I take my, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever it is, but I bet you, I almost, I'm willing to guarantee you have a cup of coffee every morning if you love coffee. Maybe it's every afternoon. That one gets in, doesn't it? So how about if you set up a routine, a pattern, a habit where have your coffee, enjoy it, but what else can you add that will give you deeper support to your organs and all your body systems so you can really function 
optimally. All right, this is a very short video. This is not a course on herbalism. This is not a course on medicinal mushrooms where I will go through every single one and tell you all their benefits, all their properties. I'm introducing broadly this idea, these concepts, and we're gonna to touch on things. Ginseng, you might've heard of that term, right? That's another example of a herb, an adaptogen, amazing benefits, amazing properties. You've probably likely heard of ginseng. One example, uh, Eleuthero. This is known as Siberian ginseng. Uh, totally different herb, totally different plant. But again, one of these ones that has been known uh, throughout cultures, throughout time, to have these adaptogen-like properties, help the body adapt to stress. That can be a really good choice. Reishi mushroom. It is said that it is most, one of the most well-studied herbs on earth that has a multitude of benefits. This is one of the other key attributes of what would be called an adaptogen or a tonic herb is that it doesn't just work on one organ or one system or one problem is it will offer you a multitude of benefits good for the heart good for the liver good for the kidneys good for cardiovascular system uh, blood sugar you know it goes on and on and on and again it's in a non-specific way whatever your body needs it can help provide that so that's the kind of the overarching uh, premise I want to bring to you bring herbs into your life do your research I know you're already beginning to explore this expand this and coffee can be one of those amazing delivery systems so how are you gonna do that right if you're working with the raw herb or the raw mushroom in the case of reishi or in the case of eleuthero you're gonna need to do what's called a decoction basically make a tea from it first in my elixir life uh, book and video course I go through all the details of what is a steep what is a decoction how you do it many herbs like the roots and the barks and the mushrooms that we're talking about today you would do a decoction now that is bringing your water to a boil extracting all the good medicine and property then you're now able to work with it and make it into your coffee so you can create a herbal tea that then you make your coffee with right whether that's a bodum whether it's a french press whether it's uh you know a percolator um hell even a drip coffee right so you have your coffee that you love that you're working with when you're adding your water you add your herbal tea that's what you do that is one of the ways one of the methods it's so simple so easy change nothing about what else you're doing your morning routine you're making your coffee when you're reaching for water you now replace it with a herbal tea be it of a medicinal mushroom or your choice of adaptogens brew your coffee up exactly as you would enjoy your coffee exactly as you would you're getting all those same wonderful taste and joyful benefits that you get from coffee but now you have that undertone of the herbal and medicinal benefits that's going to support you in a deeper way so that's method number one method number two is that a lot of these herbs already come in what's called an extracted form it could be in the form of a powder right so these types of herbs they're tough they're woody you can't actually eat them they need to be extracted out so a hot water extraction pulls out all the properties medicinal properties that you can have in a tea form but what's even easier and more convenient for some is when that they're in a powdered form. And it's not that those uh, roots have just been dried and powdered. No, they've been first extracted so that when you consume the powder, it has that what we call that bioavailable effect. You immediately can absorb and utilize the properties. So there can be a hot water extraction, how this one in particular, and there's many different brands out there. Uh, so it's been hot water extracted, they've made a tea, and then they dehydrate it back down. This is what you'll very often Often find in capsules right you go into supplement store health food store you see all those rows of you know herbal pills and capsules it's that in a capsule form what I would suggest is get into the bulk right as you get into this lifestyle as you start feeling the benefits it's far more cost-effective to go for in a powdered form that's loose might be a little bit jar, a little jar like this might be a larger bag that's a fantastic way to then, you've got your coffee brewed up, you can still use the water or the tea method, but then when you pour yourself a cup of coffee, now you're adding in a little bit of herbal extract powder, mushroom extract powder. That's another way to easily get that in. Other option here would, would, would be what we call a liquid extract. So instead of it being in a powdered form, it's now in a liquid extract form, right? I mentioned ginseng. So here's a ginseng extract of this one happens to be about you know 10 different ginseng roots into uh, an alcohol. Typically it's alcohol, sometimes it's glycerin, extracts all the benefits and properties. Think of vanilla extract, right? 
vanilla is a form of a herbal extract. Vanilla is a herb. It's a food, of course, as well, but same principle applies. We put it into this liquid medium, extracts out all its flavor, all its benefits, all its properties. And as you would, like you were just adding vanilla to your coffee, you would add ginseng, you would add reishi, whatever it is, that then instantly into your beverage and then into you. You're getting the benefits. So you can look at single herbs, single mushrooms. You can also explore different blends, right? My friend Yara Willard, he's a herbalist. He has this knowledge and this wisdom of how the herbs work, how they can interact, support each other, best support you. So he's come up with all these different blends. He's got a company called Harmonic Arts. Here's one, liver elixir, right? So if you're looking to support your liver, if you're looking to support your adrenals, whatever it is, you can find tea blends or tincture blends that are specific to that. So liver elixir has milk thistle, dandelion, burdock, artichoke, organ grape, black radish, and maitake mushroom. That, if I wanna get all those benefits, just squirt it into my coffee. Now my coffee's becoming that perfect delivery system for me to not only enjoy my coffee, but now you're gonna be deeply supporting yourself, your immune system, you're gonna be supporting those adrenals, right? You're gonna get that energy, you're gonna get that stamina. A lot of these herbs, they can give you energy, just like coffee does, but it's without the crash. It's that long-term sustained energy. If you're new to this, I can understand how you might be feeling a little overwhelmed. The world of medicinal mushrooms, the world of herbs, it's deep, it's ancient and it's vast. There's so much out there. Don't be overwhelmed. Consider this as a, as a way to kind of get in easily. Start your journey, begin to pick up a book, read an article. Uh, I've put together this book called Elixir Life. We're gonna continue exploring this concept of what an elixir is over the coming videos that you're gonna receive through this series. I really wanna break it down simply and easily. I know some people watching are absolutely brand new and then others have a little bit more experience we want to bring this all together in an easy to use form. So if you are liking the idea of this and you want to go deeper right away, uh, you can check out the Elixir Life book. It can be in ebook form or print. And I begin to break down what are the different herbs, how to begin to understand them, begin to utilize them. And of course, coffee is just one simple, easy medium to do that. But it goes far, far deeper beyond that. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the one key ingredient you want want to add to your coffee to give you that long-term sustained energy, more nourishment, more energy that can even help balance hormones and give you that nice glowing skin, even lose weight. I mean, so many benefits to this. I think you're going to be really excited to tune in. So video number two coming soon. Check it out and we'll see you on that one.